More from Roseland. Is this the Christmas we get? Seven members of the Jordan family packed into this car to stay warm. Flames forced them out of their home Christmas morning. We ran up out of there. His three-year-old son never had a chance to open Christmas presents. All his toys and stuff in there, you know. Everything. We don't know what to do now. We got Are no place to go. Are all the toys destroyed everything, or? Everything. Is destroyed. everything is this is our second day in this house. All my baby toys is gone. They aren't the only ones the Red Cross is now trying to house and feed. Two other families, a total of 12 people, are displaced. Alarms went off. You know what I'm saying? You grab your mother, step down to see what's going on, everything, and it was just a, a blaze and get out. The call came in around 6.30 this morning. The fire started in this duplex and then spread to the home on the left. The sidewalks and streets were sheets of ice, making it slippery for firefighters getting to and from the burning homes. Ice wasn't the only impediment making it challenging for firefighters. Crews also had to deal with frozen hydrants. They used torches to thaw out the pipes and to warm up their equipment. This is a Christmas these families will never forget. Bless us, we're still here and everything. You, can, you got lies and everything. That's the most important. In Roseland, Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. One person went to the hospital for a minor burn. Two others suffered smoke inhalation but refused medical attention. The cause of that is still under investigation.